hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan this is part 22 of Python tutorial course using Jupyter notebook in this tutorial I will show you how to edit or update records using stored procedures if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates uh, before writing the coding part in Python to update the records using stored procedures first we'll check the table I'm using the table name is EMP table which contains four columns EMP ID which is employee ID, employee name, email and salary and I have created this table in sample DB database now my aim is I want to edit or update a particular employee record based on the employee ID using stored procedures in Python so let's first create a new stored procedure in the sample db database notice there is a procedures folder select that one now let's create a new stored procedure come to the bottom notice here the had routine here click that one let's give the name for the stored procedure is update emp is my stored procedure name and the parameters in my table I have the EMP table let's expand this table and the columns also in my table I have four columns EMP ID, e name, salary and email so the first one the integer type the EMP underscore ID and the second parameter I want to change the employee email and salary only so I am adding the email emp email underscore email the data type is varchar and the length I am adding 150 and the last parameter I am adding is the salary emp underscore salary which is an integer type now let's give the definition which is a update statement begin after that I'm adding end now begin and end between begin and end I'm adding the update statement update the table name is a EMP table set I'm setting the employee email and salary so the column name is email make sure the exact column name and is equals to I'm adding the parameter variable EMP email comma salary the column name from the table is equals to the parameter value EMP underscore salary where EMP ID is equals to this EMP semicolon click go notice here the update EMP the stored procedure is added if you notice at the top you got a message the update EMP stored procedure has been created now let's execute to update the data SQL click OK call I'm adding the update statement now before adding the parameters let's browse the table again I'm opening in a new tab All right now this table contains two records Charan and John so let's uh, add I want to update the employee ID 2 so we have three parameters given first one is employee ID the employee email ID I'm adding john at gmail.com john at gmail.com and the salary is 1200 I'm making this as a 1500 I want to update from 1200 to 1500 the John salary so let's execute click go 
and record executed successfully let's check the output I am reloading the browser so here we got the John details the email ID and salary has been updated successfully now let's call the store procedure this call update EMP store procedure in Python to update the record I'm using Jupyter notebook to write the Python code let's create a new notebook let's give the proper name for this notebook the name I'm giving update record store procedure click rename now let's write the coding part now when we are dealing with a particular database we need to install those packages first so let's in install pip install mysql client I'm using mysql php my admin database so I'm using mysql client I'm installing let's run this command And here we got a message the requirement already satisfied and below that we got a note you may need to restart the kernel to use these updated packages so let's restart the kernel restart click restart so once I restart this kernel now it's uh, time to write the coding part to import my SQL DB after import the my SQL DB class next I'm declaring a variable db is equals to to connect my database. So my SQL db dot connect method. The connect method takes four parameters. The first parameter is a host name, which is a local host. The second parameter is a username of my SQL PHP my admin database, which is a root. And the third parameter is a password. I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database. If you have any, please enter that one. So right now here I'm leaving blank the password field and the last parameter is a database name. So my database name is uh, sample db. Let's add that one. Sample db. Once I add the connection string, now we have to call or execute the store procedure. So to execute the store procedure or select statement we have to use a cursor method so let's declare another variable execute cursor is equals to db dot cursor method once we got the cursor method uh, now it's time to call our store procedure so execute cursor dot to call the store procedure call proc method so this call proc method between double quotes I'm adding my store procedure name my store procedure name is update EMP let's add that one between the single quotes after that this update EMP method takes the store procedure takes three parameters employee ID email and salary so comma now let's before adding the parameters here let's declare the let's declare the employee ID EMP ID is equals to input enter um, employee ID the email emp underscore email is a variable input enter employee email and the last variable is emp underscore salary is equals to input enter employee salary Now let's add these variables employee ID here, comma. The second parameter is the EMP email. Copy this one and paste here, comma. 
and the last parameter is the salary, AMP salary. Then, once the record is updated successfully, I want to display the message. For that, I'm adding print the employee comma begin not double quotes comma. I'm adding the employee ID here comma. Is updated successfully. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's run this code. Click run. And notice here we got a prompt with the enter employee ID. In our table we have two records. Employee ID. I want I want to change the employee ID one. So let's add employee ID one. The email ID right now, the employee email ID is charan at gmail.com. So that I'm making charan at yahoo.com. And the salary is right now he got 15,000. I'm adding here 25,000. So click enter. See here the employee one is updated successfully. So let's check the output. The record is updated successfully or not. Click browse. And notice the updated records here of the channel. The email ID is channel at yahoo.com and salary is 25,000. That's it. We have updated the records in Python using stored procedures.